Buenas noches, amigos. Si usted vio el programa anoche, sabes que compromete aprende el español. Pues estudié un poco anoche y parende mucho. Por ejemplo, ahora puedo decir dónde está la biblioteca. ¿Qué año es que yo soy un grabador? La velocidad de, de la lengua española es que muchas mesas no tienen en la tristeza. Yo no tengo pantalones. La tinga en el chimichanga más Penelope Cruz. Del oros con pollo está el baño con charo y tres tacos de carbón. Oh, wait a minute, come on! Wait a minute! That's not what I said. You're not translating what I'm saying. No, I want the Spanish translated into English. Can you do that? Thank you. Is Donada thank you in Spanish? <laughs> I can't tell you I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> El teleprompto. <laughs> we'll be right back. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Extraordinary Measures. Don't hope for a miracle, make one. Extraordinary Measures, in theaters January 22nd. That's enough. Sit down, relax. You've made the warm-up comedian proud. <laughs> yes, everybody at home is like, why are they so enthusiastic? I'll tell you why, because they got little pieces of candy for nothing. <laughs> Well, I don't go that crazy for little pieces of candy, but this is special show business candy. Which contains a faster route to rehab. It is a great day for America, everybody. It is? It is a great day. However, however, I have to say, it's a great day, but it's cold. Experts are saying this could be the coldest winter in 25 years. All over the country is bitter cold, except in LA, of course, where we're just bitter. <laughs> I had that idea for that movie. <laughs> Do you know, 
it's so cold right now. How cold is it right now, Greg? Hey, I'll tell you how cold it is. In Florida, Tiger Woods is texting women just to keep his fingers warm. There you are. That's how cold it is. There you are. That was a late night joke. Thanks, guys in the band. Thanks, sidekick. Thanks. Thanks, bribed audience. Do you remember uh, Joan Rivers? Remember Joan Rivers? She's kind of like the Stone Age Kathy Griffin. Well, <laughs> she got in trouble at the... Uh, she got in a little bit of trouble. She was detained at Costa Rica after a mix-up with the airport security. The problem was her passport was taken... The photo was taken like ten faces ago, and they had to... <laughs> I know. They were like, oh, I don't know. And she's like, no! And the security guards were afraid that our lips contained more than eight ounces of liquid. So, uh, <laughs> there's a couple of birthdays today we'd like to celebrate. Uh, happy birthday to Marilyn Manson and Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton and Marilyn Manson. Very different, of course. One's an, un <laughs> One's an androgynous freak who worships Satan and scares little children. And the other one's Marilyn Manson. So, all right. Anyway, today is a great day if, you, if you're a fan of crabs. <laughs> it's true. Who isn't a fan of crabs? If you've tuned in tonight to catch the latest crab news, tonight's your lucky night. Because scientists have discovered a brand new species of crab. It's called the strawberry crab. Why? I'll tell you why. It looks a bit like a strawberry. Do we have got a picture of it? Look, that's it. Isn't that adorable? That's the new crab, and it's uh, tasty, I would imagine, as well. I'd rather have a case of strawberries than a case of crabs. <laughs> but, but you can get either a, a roadside stand for 10 bucks. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Anyway, the, the scientists found the strawberry crab off the coast of Taiwan. I think they heard its call or something. Come to me. I look like a delicious fruit. <laughs> It's the same thing I say every night. Come on! Oh, you look like a delicious fruit. Here's my tentacles going, look. I said tentacles! Anyway, the... Uh, <laughs> if I wanted to say testicles, I'd have said testicles! Anyway, the strawberry crab may be cute, but he's still a crab. And I don't like crabs, and I'll tell you why. I don't trust anything that walks sideways. I don't like crabs, ancient Egyptians, and... Lawyers. <laughs> all right, all right, that's a bit harsh. I didn't mean to offend the ancient Egyptians. I'd like to see... I'd like to see the strawberry crab go up against the crab fisherman from The Dangerous Catch. I like that show. You probably haven't seen that show because it's on cable, and if you're watching this show, you don't have cable, clearly. <laughs> it's great, though. The cable's awesome, and there's a channel for everything. If you like food, there's a food network. If you like cartoons, cartoon network. If you like sex... Uh, <laughs> If you like sex, there's the Golf Channel. <laughs> anyway, the deadliest catch is on the Discovery Channel. It's about the crab fishermen of Alaska, and it's one of the best shows on TV, apart from everything on CBS, of course. We, CBS, cares. <laughs> and apparently, the Discovery Channel is going to go 3D next year. They're going 3D. That would be awesome. I'd love to see the deadliest catch in 3D. I can't wait to see that giant box swinging towards me. <laughs> Then I'll turn off Cinemax and watch the Discovery Channel. But... Anyway, the Discovery Channel has, it's got the, the deadliest catch, it's got Shark Week, and it's got my favourite TV show of all time, even more than Project Runway. Yes, gay sidekick, even more than Project Runway. Mythbusters. I love the Mythbusters. Uh, Adam and Jamie and Cary Grant and Tory as well. I sometimes don't mention them, but I love them too. I also love uh, Man vs. Wild. That's where they drop this guy, Bear Grylls. That's his name, Bear Grylls. And they drop him off in dangerous places. And he got into trouble a couple of years ago because people found out one of the dangerous locations was right next to a parking lot. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't see what the problem is. A parking lot can be a very dangerous place. One of the most dangerous places on earth is the parking lot of a strip club at about 2 a.m. Any strip club! <laughs> Years ago, I got my ass kicked in a strip club parking lot. Those Chippendales guys are a lot tougher than they are. Mm. 
Actually, actually, it was the best damn night of my life. Yeah. First rule of Fight Club is you never talk about Fight Club. I know. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if Bear Grylls picked his job working in the wilderness because his name is Bear. What are you going to do when you grow up? Uh, well, my name's Bear. I think I should probably work in the wilderness. <laughs> You should never pick your job based on your name, or, or, or John Hancock would have picked an entirely different profession. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I detected an ooh from the studio audience there. Now, let you, you clearly knew what show you were coming to, eh? You knew there was going to be crappy innuendo and cheap puns here. Nobody lied to you in the way in. Nobody said, oh, hey, no, go in there, it's Oprah, you're going to get a car. No! So don't come in here and you, you come in here and then you ooh when you get what you told you were gonna get. I feel ashamed and I'm covering it up. I'm being aggressive to hide my shame. Does that ever happen? No! It does. We have to go to a commercial break now. But the good news is. All the products that you're about to see are awesome. <laughs> I'm a whore, get me out of here. I got my marshmallow gun for the new, the new season of the show. They, CBS gave me a present. It fires marshmallows, tiny little marshmallows. <laughs> Actually, they're regular size marshmallows. I'm just huge. <laughs> Listen, uh, New Year, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, I was watching New Year's Eve, I was watching TV, uh, I was watching CNN. I normally, I, well, of course, I watch CBS, but my, I, the dog ate my homework. So I, so I was watching, I tell you, I was watching CNN because Kathy Griffin was on. Uh, she was doing the, the, the CNN show with Anderson Cooper, and I love those girls. And I was watching the... <laughs> Well, Kathy had just been here, and she said she was going to do the show, and I watched it, and she was hilarious. I mean, I really was, I, she was just fantastic. And then I read on the, uh, in the newspaper today that Kathy uh, apparently got into a lot of trouble for saying a word that began with F, and it wasn't Fandango. <laughs> and then, I, did they fire her or not fire her? Well, we don't know. And I'm thinking, how can you fire her? She does one show a year for CNN. You can't fire her from that. So just hire her again in December. So what we did is, Kathy's in New York, but we got her on the phone. Aha! So we'll get to the bottom of this show business conundrum. Hang on, I'll just phone her. <laughs> Kathy, are you there? Please hold for Miss Griffin. Oh! Miss Griffin, there's a phone call. Hello, Craig, it's me, Kathy Griffin. Hi, Kathy Griffin, how are you? I'm very, very excited to hear that you watched Anderson and I renew our vows um, on New Year's Eve on CNN. I thought, you, I thought you were fantastic, you were hilarious, but apparently at some point you said a cuss word. I must have fallen asleep or gone to the bathroom or something. What, what was that word? I'm sure that you were confused if you think in any way that I would ever try to curse on television. How dare you, you son of a handsome gun. <laughs> I'm really, say, I'm really watching myself now, can you tell? I'm really on my best freaking behavior. It's killing me! Why, why did, they, did they fire you? Well, I don't know if I got canned. You know, I don't feel I've really done a job well until I get fired. But um, the deal was... The de no, am I fired from this phone call or just tell me what's going on? No, no, I, did, I was wondering if you got fired from CB, uh, from what they call them, CNN. Did you get fired from them for saying, I got up on TV? <laughs> You know, it was really, I think, a miscommunication because um, we were talking a lot about the balloon boy, Falcon Heaney, and I was amused by how if you watch the worldwide coverage of that story, yeah. then you could hear his first name pronounced in many different ways. And in fact, his own mother has an accent, and there were times that it sounded almost as if she pronounced the name of her own child, Falcon, 
as a verb that uh, adult <laughs> film actors use when they're <laughs> Well, this, I, this seems perfectly reasonable to me. This is, I this, agree. This is news. It's um, like, you know, it's like what Shakespeare did. I am a wordsmith. <laughs> I just keep yeah, yeah, smithing with Ka the word Kathy, don't... <laughs> D don't don't push it, Kathy. <laughs> totally pushed it. I know. Yeah, uh, you went too far. I know. You I know. Are you all right? Are you having a nice time in New York? Are you staying warm? I'm having a riot. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, we we we've, we've got to go. Uh, let's just say you're fired, and I can't wait to see you back here very soon. I adore you, and thank you. I love you too, Kathy. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Kathy Griffin. Right. <laughs> I think we can all agree that didn't clear anything up at all. <laughs> what happened is that I talked to Kathy for a minute, she swore a couple of times, but we don't know if we, she got into trouble with CNN or not. <laughs> but here's my question. You see a lot of very bad stuff on CNN, and then if Kathy says a word that's funny, <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm not going to win this argument. <laughs> I have this argument every day. <laughs> every day I have this argument. And every day I, I got a map lose. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Just uh, blow a marshmallow at you. There you go. There was one stuck in there. This is my attempt to. I want to be like Mythbusters. I'm going to blow that up soon. Uh, do we have time for email? Yep. Do we have time for email? C! All right. Uh, this is from Erin in Daytona Beach, Florida. She says, Dear Craig, what do you think of Jessie, the new girl on Mythbusters? I think she's okay, but she's no carry. I say give her a chance. <laughs> give her a chance, I say. Because Carrie left to have a baby. Oh, it's a novella, Mythbusters, it really is. Uh, but, but this is from Lance in Los Angeles, California. He says, uh, Dear Craig, I need that money you borrowed from me back in 92. Nice try, douche. I didn't get to LA until 95. Maybe it's Lance from another country and he's followed me here. No, I didn't borrow any money off anyone in 1992. Well, hang on a second. I went into rehab in February of 92. So it's conceivable I borrowed some money in January 92 and I have no recollection of it. <laughs> yeah. This is from uh, Ricky in La Mirada in California. Ricky says, uh, Dear Craig, my roommates told me this morning that it is not okay to eat Twinkies for breakfast. <laughs> Tell me this is not true. Not only is that untrue, but I would suggest that your roommates may be members of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Not eat Twinkies for breakfast. Not in this man's America. <laughs> All right. Um, this is from Chuck in Patton in Iowa. He says... Uh, how come my wife thinks everything you say is funny, and if I say the same thing, I'm a jerk? <laughs> accent. You need the accent. See, the thing is, every time I say something, it sounds dirty. Like if I say, oh, that's a nice piece of fruit. I don't 
mean it to be dirty, but it sounds dirty. Like if I say to someone, if I see someone eating a pizza, I go, oh, what a lovely banana. They're like, how dare you? I'm like, what? It is a lovely banana. <laughs> so try it like that. Um, um, this is from Kevin in Manhasset in New York. Uh, says, hi, Craig, with a, oh, he's got a, look, uh, an exclamation point. Hi, Craig, exclamation point, to be friendly. People that use exclamation points to be friendly are insane. Uh, he says, if people feel butterflies when they're nervous, what do actual butterflies feel when they are nervous? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> that wouldn't even be funny in a Scottish accent, that. <laughs> like, like most of this show, actually. I don't know. I don't think butterflies get nervous, do they? I mean, they don't live very long, butterflies, do they? What do they live, like half an hour or something? <laughs> oh, isn't that the thing, though? There's the, the, uh, the monarch butterflies, no matter where they are in the world, they all go down to Mexico. They all go to a town called Anganguila, I think. <laughs> I'm still working on my Spanish, but it, they fly, all the monarch butterflies, they all go there. And you know how they get there? Wormholes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Go ahead and laugh. Ay, caramba! <laughs> they, <laughs> I'm making no... <laughs> what happens is the butterflies, they just go, they go through a hole in the space-time continuum. <laughs> See, this is the curse of having the accent. Even when you're trying to talk, you know, physics, people think you're joking, but I'm not joking. Just like when I say, oh, that's a lovely banana. <sighs> you know, I, well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to reading the emails in Spanish. I mean, I won't be funny, but many of these people won't know. Right now, I feel very exposed. <laughs> what? We out of time? <laughs> Guess it's a battle of wills again, isn't it? <laughs> what will I do? Will I stay here? Owning my little piece of paradise? Or will I be a whore? Do what the man tells me to do. We'll be right back after the commercials, everybody. Welcome back to the only late night show on television where we also speak Spanish. Habla <laughs> Espanol. Si. <laughs> Look, I'm trying. I'm getting started on it, is what I'm saying. By the end of this year, the last show of this year will be entirely in Spanish. <laughs> Why do I say these things? <laughs> well, I've said it now. <laughs> It'll be as popular as the old puppet episode. <laughs> don't too late now. Uh, my first guest tonight, I don't know if she speaks Spanish. She's the star of The Middle, uh, which is on Wednesdays on ABC. <laughs> I'm trying to be more genteel with it, ABC. <laughs> Take a look at this. Please welcome the very lovely Patricia Heaton, everybody. Patricia Heaton. You looked Grungy. great. You looked great. I we saw run into each other in the hood, and I'm always looking kind of. It's not really the hood, is funky. it? It was a rather nice street. It's a nice street. And you were parking next to me. That's Very right. nice parking. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Have you. Have you been parking long? Um, 
Well, because my son is trying to get his driver's license. Is he We're really? doing a lot of driving and parking lately. So. Really? You, are you teaching your kid how to drive? Well, he took lessons, and right. then he has his learner's permit, and so now I drive around with him a lot until well, he takes be, his test. It must be awful. Okay, you, if you hear someone's sphincter <laughs> <laughs> tightening, that's me in the car with my son. That's what you hear. I see you're at home at the moment. <laughs> you're relaxing and enjoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you hear that squeaking sound, that's me. That does, that's me like that's, this. That, is that a condition that you have, a kind of squeaking oh, sound? Only when, you when get... you're driving with a 16-year-old who doesn't have his license No, yet. that would be very... I, I yeah, don't, I'm teaching my son to drive. How old's your son? Eight and a half. <laughs> at Legoland, are you doing Legoland no, 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 or no. what? No, no, no. SUV. <laughs> yeah. Freeway. Yeah, no, no. No, no, I, I, I do, I'm not looking forward to any of that yeah. at all. Now, how are you otherwise? Are you good? I'm I like your great. dress. It's purple. Thank you very much. It's, it's grape. Grape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. It is. I, it's very, very nice. It grapes has a, which are purple. It, yeah. some, some grapes are purple, that's yeah. true. Th yes, uh-huh. And some are green. <laughs> Anyway, what I was going to say was I think it has a quite an ecclesiastical feel about oh, it. Oh, ecclesiastical. It has a kind of, yes, it has a kind of churchy it feel. It does. Like robes. Do you have a sister who's a nun? I do. Well, there you are. Then. You, could, you could hang out with her wearing that dress. Well, you know, she's, she's fun to hang out with. She causes quite a stir when she comes to Los Angeles. Does she wear the robes? Yeah, she's, in a, um, she's a Dominican. Right. And it's but a, she's a teaching order. Has and an that's American a passport. Yes. Right. And, but it's a, it's a it's a conservative order. It's a no. A, a conservative order. So she has a full veil and a full white, uh, you know, uh, robe, whatever they call right. it, and a big, you know, those big honking rosary beads hanging down. Right. And does she sing? How do you solve the problem? No, like actually, you know, when she when she was she came with a, a couple other nuns um, to visit. And um, I was at work, and my husband called, and he said, you gotta, you got to get home. There's two nuns playing basketball in the backyard really? with two of the boys, and your sister's playing poker with Sam. How conservative is this order? <laughs> they, uh, so but, but, you know, it's really interesting because... Um, you don't see uh, nuns in full habits almost anywhere, and certainly not in L.A. And so when they come and visit, well, you can first see, of all, you know, know I, I live right near Paramount Studios, and it just right. looks like some extras have wandered off the right, line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, she was the one person I, I didn't, haven't gotten her a Christmas gift yet, because you can't, first of all, you can't, I bought her a black scarf one year and black gloves another year, and then you're kind of done. You can't yeah, get them anything. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So, also, and you, you can't say, you know, oh, Let's hope she forgot it was Christmas. She knows. <laughs> yeah. but, but, the, but the other thing is, nuns like her, they get everything for free because when people see them, they're so, they have an effect on you because you don't, you don't, there's such like a Like Baldwins presence. or something like that when you see a <laughs> Baldwin. Like when you see the Baldwins, yes. you're like, oh, there's one. <laughs> That's right. Look, yeah. Ellie, right from your hand. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the street, we always see each other. Right, we yeah, were, yeah. She was on that street at the bagel store. Oh, yeah. And, and she went and got the bagels, and then she went to pay for them, and the guy said, no, no, sister, you just take them. And she said, no, no, I have money here, I'll pay for them. And he said, no, no, take them, sister, take them, take them. Really? So she walks out the store, and a guy runs up to her and says, sister, I found this $20 bill on the street, and I want you to have it for whatever your charity is. And she said, oh, no, you keep it, that's okay. And he goes, no, really, sister, you take it, I want you to have it. And she said, well, thank you very much. And just as he walked away, a young girl ran up and said, that's my $20, I just dropped it on the street. And so my sister said, well, oh, I'm sorry here take it and the girl had it and she looked at my sister and she goes oh forget it you that's it. right <laughs> that's right you would have to do that yes. you can't take twenty dollars from a nun from it's a nun. bad luck even if it's yeah. your twenty dollars even if it's your twenty dollars that's, right. that's bad you can't that's right now I, so if you you come from an irish catholic family yes. clearly yes so are you a huge disappointment then to the family because your sister <laughs> your sister is a nun and you're a strumpet on television <laughs> It, 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 there, there was a, um, a point where she actually did tell me that she didn't think you could be a Christian and an actress at the same time. All right. But yeah. that changed when we made a big donation to the uh, ah, yes. <laughs> and they needed an, an upgrade. So, no, you know, it, it was, it was. She thought Raymond was a racy show. It, it was a racy. <laughs> hey, it's kind of a Raymond week this week. Ray's on tomorrow I night. Know. Isn't that 
Do you want to leave us sort of like? Do you want to set a trap for him oh, or something? Yes, we should think of something. Because he'll be sitting right there. We should think of something. We should do what something. We, we do? should probably like leave some poo in his dressing room or something. <laughs> That, did I, I go over I, the line? I did, did I go over the Raymond, line? Raymond, it didn't phase him. No, yeah. no. He's no. very nice, He's Ray, so isn't he? nice, and I'm so happy about his show, and it's getting incredible reviews. There was even a huge article in the New Yorker. I never read that. I, well, he doesn't either. I yeah. think I have to call him and tell him that it's in there. So. Yeah, yeah. Do, yeah. You, do you read the, the Intelligentsia Press? Do you read the New Yorker with the cartoons that nobody understands, and they go, ah, ha, 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 like that? <laughs> oh, those cartoons, they're understandable. Yeah, you don't understand them. Come on. <laughs> Come on, would you say that if your sister was sitting here? <laughs> yes, yeah, she reads, yes. No, it's, it's, a, it's a... I'm, I'm fascinated by your sister who's... Yes. How many kids are in the family? There's five of us. All right. And then, so but, you're Irish Catholic, so yeah. Right? Yeah, but yeah, then, uh, you know, when I was growing up, five was normal. My mother was one of 15. Wow. And I have over 100 first cousins on my mother's side of the family. Really? Yeah. In fact, my husband, who's British, swears that I only married him because I had to marry someone out of the country to be sure I wasn't related to them. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's a fair bet. <laughs> Yeah. When did your people come over then? When did the Heatons come over? Um, it was actually the herds. The it herds. Was, and it was a herd. herds. Yeah, great yes. herds of them. Yes. Like, like, like wildebeest. Yeah. <laughs> H-U-R-D. It was early. It was like 1700s. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah, it was very early. And then where did they go? To Cleveland? Ohio. Yeah, yeah I think they were in, started in Connecticut and then came to Ohio. So that's yeah, where so you go. You get out of Ireland. And there's and a, and yeah, and there's a lot of us. And... and um, and and you know Irish cat, it's like a it's a big club. It's probably the same. I'm with familiar Scottish with people. the. Well, my, my the father's Irish, mother something. was an Irish Catholic, and my father's yeah. father was an Irish Protestant. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that was, they and my father was thing. born on St Patrick's Day. Oh really? Yeah. That's, it was crazy. There more, was like fights all around the house yeah. all the time. <laughs> Well, you know, it was funny because when my, my sister, the nun, was here and I took her to the beach and she's still in the full habit, you know, walking through the sand, every, first of all, every homeless guy came up to her. Right. And every one of them was an Irish guy <laughs> who said, you know, sister, it's Tim Flannery from yeah. St. Brendan's, as if she should know who they are. And, and every, one, every, every homeless guy was an Irish Catholic drunk. And um... Which beach is it you go to? Because... <laughs> Santa Monica. There's really? a lot of homeless guys. There. And they're all Irish. But was, you know what was interesting? You know who else related to her? Who? The Orthodox Jews. Because right. you know our neighborhood is also very Orthodox yeah, yeah, Jewish. Yeah. And I took her over to this shopping center, the Grove, that's a, 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 a like hubbub. You know? Oh yeah, they're familiar with it. It's the center of, of our universe. <laughs> It's one of these lifestyle malls with the movie theaters and the, the dancing fountain. This lifestyle mall just means it's a mall, but it's outdoors. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're walking through there to go to the movies, and an, an Orthodox gentleman is walking by, and he look, he kind of clocks my sister, and he kind of gives her like a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> like they're two sides of the same uh, coin, you know. Right, we, yeah. we, we both uh, got a costume. I yeah. wear a lot of black in the summer too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Precision, we're completely out of time. It's lovely oh, to are? see you. Yeah, it's oh, okay. Yeah. No, sorry about that. I have a show on right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Patricia's yeah. got a okay. show on. It's awesome. What's it called again? <laughs> the Middle. The Middle. ABC. It's on ABC. <laughs> 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 Pretty good, right? Anyway, uh, my apologies to Carrie Mulligan. We'll have her back on the show very soon because we talked too long tonight. Um, well, when I say we, I, I talk too long. <laughs> but what I did do is I handed out to the audience, I was firing out the, the little marshmallows, but I handed out to the audience the little bowl of marshmallows and they're all taking one each and they can pass them on. But what they don't know... <laughs> would that be awesome? <laughs> what they don't know, I've laced the marshmallows <laughs> with LSD. <laughs> Yeah. You wouldn't be clapping. <laughs>
Um, well, that's it. Uh, we're done for tonight, really. Um, do you know what I haven't done for a while? Remember I used to write letters? Remember I used to... Do you remember that? I used to, like, whenever celebrities were in the news, I would, like, Dear Celebrity in the News. And then I would write a little letter to them. That's when the show was good. <laughs> I would fire a little marshmallow at you, but I can't. Because they're all out in the audience. But the good news is the audience is tripping. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.